Uh, but I want to show you here how, how you have uh, now got yourself a very strange bedfellow in the Green Senator, Lydia Thorpe. Here's Lydia <laughs> Thorpe's opposed to The Voice as well, and she says that the, the costs involved in a referendum are better spent on what's needed in our communities. I think it's a waste of money. It's a wasted exercise. You don't need a referendum to have a treaty. So there you go. That's the Pauline Hanson Lydia Thorpe unity ticket. No, there's no unity ticket here, I can tell you, with her. Um, the fact is, she's playing political games here. You see, the, the Al Albanese government can't get it through the Senate without the Greens. So she's playing her political games here. She wants, what, $100 million? That's what it'll cost for the referendum. $120 million for the referendum to put into an industry that costs us now over $30 billion a year? Come on, give me a break. She's actually wanting the recommendations from the stolen um, children generation, that from the Uluru statement she wants brought in plus also she wants a treaty so she's got a, another agenda so she's putting pressure on the Albanese government to actually look at what she wants before yep. she'll give it you, her, you, her um, you, nod you both oppose it from differing perspectives in the Senate yep you both oppose it for differing reasons yeah. I think you're both wrong but we'll have that debate again next week thanks for joining us Senator Pauline Hanson <laughs> Senator Pauline Hanson there, Thanks. live uh, from Queensland. And just a reminder, I've got that voice debate coming up 9 o'clock here on Sky News on Sunday night. And if you've got any questions you'd like to put to our panel there, that'll be uh, Senator Jacinda Nabajimpa-Price, uh, Andrew Bolt, Dean Parkin and Shireen Morris will all join me. Send us an email at yoursay at skynews.com.au and we'll put some questions to that panel in that debate uh, going to air here 9 o'clock on Sunday night here on Sky News.